Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Um, I'm glad to be here. Last week, last week, last week, there was no live stream. Um, and that was not planned. That was just because something else came in between. So I'm sorry about that. Uh, but we are back. I am all natural today. I am not wearing any makeup or anything because um, I just got home from a trip. I was visiting family and I actually have a story to share about that, which relates to the nervous system and ultimately also relates to manifestation. Um, and uh, I just feel like really cozy today and I feel like I don't want to dress up and do all of those things. I just want to I just want to be exactly as I am. Hello, Sophie Audios. <laughs> Let me know what your real name is. <laughs> um, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Um, feel free to interact with me throughout. Feel free to ask questions. Um, I'm so here for it. Uh, if you have never been to these live streams before, I do them usually every week. And uh, it's an opportunity for us to connect and for you to get any questions answered. And I usually share something that's alive for me in the moment. Um, and obviously, those of you who are maybe completely new to my channel, I'm Lorena and I'm a self-concept and manifestation coach. And um, I'm happy to be here. So, oh, also, before I go into it, um, whether you're here live, especially if you're here live, uh, but also if you're watching the replay in the next few days, um, my signature coaching program, Recreate Yourself, is starting the next intake on Monday. So that's next week. So I just want to do a quick call to action for those of you who have been feeling the call to join this, but who have not yet taken the leap. Um, that you've got a few days left if you want to join the upcoming intake. And if you have any questions about this, you can always DM me on Instagram or you can just go to the link in the description and you can send in your application. So that is for you if you want to radically transform your self-concept. Um, and the way we do that and recreate yourself is so different from anything else I've ever seen. Like it's, it's a unique method and a unique program because we go really deep into your psyche, into your subconscious. We explore and process and heal some really heavy emotions that we all hold on to from the past. We all have trauma. Let's not kid ourselves. Um, and it's a, it's a profound journey. It's absolutely life-changing. Those, those women who have gone through this have called it life-changing and an investment they would make over and over and over again. So if you're curious about that or you want to join that, then do let me know. Um, but, oh, your nickname is Sophie. Sophie, the audience. Oh, because I make subliminal notes. Okay. Um, <laughs> cute nickname. Um, amazing. So I wanted to share a little story with you because I just came back home from Germany today. I was visiting family in Germany and I just came back home today. And the reason is because there was um, a strike at the airports in Germany yesterday. So my flight was canceled. And it was just so interesting to observe my reaction to this. And this isn't the first time this has happened in the last few weeks. I have actually had a lot of stuff happen over the last few weeks that would normally have triggered me into a massive fight response. Um, I have a tendency or I used to have the tendency to be really reactive and to get really angry at my circumstances and frustrated and annoyed. And I think we all have different coping mechanisms and different ways of reacting but that would be my go-to. And it was just so interesting whether that's, you know, the, the flight cancellation that I had yesterday um, or just the other week, I had like an all day power cut on the busiest day of my week um, where I had like so many amazing plans and I couldn't do anything because my flat is all el electricity. And both times, and with some other situations that I'm not going to go into today, my reaction was like, okay, you know, my nervous system just stayed so calm. Now, why am I sharing this and why is this so important? Now, in the context of manifestation, the nervous system is super important. Um, I don't think this gets spoken about 
enough and it definitely does not get spoken about in the right context um because the reason this is so important is because your nervous system is what you react from or the state of your nervous system is what you react from you manifest from your state of being your state of being is not just your state of mind it is the state of your nervous system it is how relaxed and integrated and neutral you can be it is how um embodied you are in the reality you want to call in <clears throat> and this is why it's so important so when you unconsciously react to the circumstances around you over and over again what happens it turns into a self-fulfilling prophecy because you are automatically making assumptions that you don't want to make a lot of people try to change their assumptions and their beliefs through just changing their perception come here baby <laughs> she wants attention um and that is a surface level approach it's not wrong to do that right like do your mindset work um do your techniques like do whatever makes you feel good and supports you but what really shifts things long term is when you create a deep and profound shift in your nervous system so that the automatic reactions that you have to things that would normally trigger the out of you um change and this is also why it's not just about regulating the nervous system. So the nervous system has become more of a topic in recent years, definitely, because like trauma work has, what's up with you? Trauma work has gotten more popular, which is amazing. Like it's awesome. And um, still people are a bit surface level there because you get these tools that help you regulate yourself, right? You Maybe it's like breathing tools, or maybe it's like t movement tools, or maybe it's just like meditation, you know, or um, inner child work and how you talk to yourself and reassurance. And that is definitely helpful. But these are the things that are helpful in the moment when you're already activated. So you want to have these tools in your toolbox. And what you really want to work on is a shift that requires you not to lean on these tools all the time because you already you already have stopped reacting because there's a sustained shift in your nervous system and that will change your reality because when the automatic reactions change and the automatic state that you operate from changes your reality will change. That's when the patterns will break. The patterns keep persisting because you're still reacting in the same way. And again, this can be unconscious, right? You might think that consciously you're not taking the same actions. You know, you're not doing the same thing. You, you're not chasing the guy anymore. Or you're not um, talking to yourself in these negative ways anymore you're not making the worst assumption all the time anymore and this is only one element where you where just because you don't act on it anymore doesn't mean that it's shifted in your subconscious and that's why patterns tend to still repeat right because not reacting does not mean not it does not mean forcing yourself not to react when it's not integrated, you will react because it happens from your nervous system and not from your mind. So on that note, also, I want to talk a little bit. I'm going to actually talk about this more in this week's YouTube video that's going live in a couple of days. Is it in a couple of days? Yes, in a couple of days on Friday, um, which is about the meaning that you assign to your circumstances, the impact that has and what you can do about it and how to treat your circumstances in the most powerful way. But what I want to ask you for today, and you can even share this live in the chat or you can share this in the comments, is what is the circumstance that you think is currently holding you back from truly leaping towards your desires? And if you're not where you want to be yet, there will be one. There will be a circumstance. 
And that could be things that trigger you, right? That, that could be, um, for example, jealousy, or it could be, um, I had a client joining the last intake of Recreate Yourself who told me on the discovery call, she got really triggered by me talking about investing in myself, but she took it as a sign to look at the trigger. So that was like an interesting thing to hear from me because, you know, the things that activate you, the things that trigger you usually have nothing to do with the circumstance itself, but it has something to do with what's going on inside you and the assumptions that you have had or have. Um, the circumstance that you could feel that's holding you back could be something that you feel is blocking you, right? So it's not necessarily um, triggering you or activating you, but maybe there's something where you feel like this is just not shifting. It's frustrating, right? Maybe it's um, an income ceiling, right? Where you feel like there's this number that you can't get past or um or there's maybe a circumstance of you feel trapped where you live, right? Like maybe you want to move out of somewhere or you want to move to a new place and you feel like you can't. Or um, maybe it's about relationships. Maybe you feel like you have this inability to break relationship patterns or you've been trying to break a relationship pattern and it's just not working. Um, so just think about what it is that you feel is holding you back right now. You can even journal on this if you want um, or share it with me or do both. But the thing is, take action anyway. Move towards your desire anyway, even if you feel like you cannot do it. Even if you have these triggers come up, even if you feel like you will never be able to break out of your circumstances because you absolutely can. Like I have seen things happen that you would not believe. And I have like where I am now, the people who have been following me for a long time, you will know, but those of you who have only been following me for like two or three years or even less, you don't know this stuff. Like where I used to be versus where I am now, everything has changed for the better. Um, my relationship to myself, um, my my life, my relationships to others, my love life, my friendships, like probably 90% of the friendships I had aren't there anymore. And I've got new connections now. Um, my living situation has changed. My, um, my income has changed. Um, my sense of freedom has, like, ev everything has changed. And I'm just overall so much happier. And I'm so much more authentic and so much more of myself. And I always like to say what's possible for me is possible for you. I don't care where your starting point is. This is not about bypassing it or denying it, right? Like, here on this channel, if you've been, if you've been here for a while, you know that the approach that you learn here to consciously manifest is a very grounded approach. Um, it's not bypassing what you're experiencing. It's not pretending it's not there. It's not living in the end in the sense that you are playing pretend. It's not that at all. It's a very grounded and holistic and emotionally integrated approach because I want you to sustain the changes. And it doesn't mean you're just surrendering to where you are. Like surrendering is important, but that does not mean settling or admitting defeat. Um, you need to make a move. You need to make a move dis despite your circumstances. And sometimes we need to take that step by step, right? Maybe the big leap that you're thinking about, you're not quite ready for. Or maybe you are and you're just telling yourself that you're not. But it, it really depends on your individual situation. And you can always DM me on Instagram and you can always, you know, reach out to me. I'm so open and approachable with these things. But the thing is, I'm not here to disempower you and tell you that what you want is not possible. Like quite the opposite. Um, like I said, I have seen people manifest miracles. Healing from chronic illness. Insane. Uh, radical relationship shifts. Amazing things. And I, all, I have also had clients join Recreate Yourself who told me that they couldn't afford it. And then 
they ended up having a windfall of money or they just became resourceful enough to make it happen with a payment plan. Whatever it is that you are finding excuses for, drop it. <laughs> Don't let your circumstances block you. Circumstances are always going to be there and they're not going to be perfect. Um, you probably hear in the manifestation world that like you need to change first. You need to ignore your physical reality. Like what needs to change is you. You need to change your self-concept. And that is true. And that doesn't happen just in imagination, just in the mind. That is actually a change in how you act and how you move and how you live your life. It doesn't mean you are meditating your life away and you are then hoping that the circumstances around you will change. Very often you need to actually take action. Take action. Taking action doesn't mean force. Um, quite the opposite. It does mean acting in alignment and following your heart and your intuition. But the circumstances won't change until you change. And they're probably going to be there. In fact, you're probably going to come up against the exact things you fear so that you can learn to be courageous enough to make a move anyway. Like there's always going to be a reason why it's hard or why it's not working or why it's not progressing fast enough. And the question is, are you going to make that mean that you just have to admit defeat? Right? Like I said, there is a huge difference between surrendering and being in an energy of defeat and just, you know, giving up and giving it up to God. Uh, there is a huge, huge difference, which is a whole other topic. Um, oh, hi, Maya. <laughs> I feel like you've you've been on my mind all day. <laughs> um, yeah, happy to see you here. And I'm going to see you again in less than an hour. How exciting. Um, yeah, so I think that's everything that was on my heart and on my mind right now. Um, and... Yeah, good to see you here today. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the chat, um, in the live chat. You can also use the comments if you're watching the replay of this. And uh, a last reminder as well, recreate yourself starting on Monday. Maya, who just joined, can speak to her experience in it. She just actually sent me a testimonial about her experience in the program. And um, yeah, you want to join this. If you feel the call, you know what to do. Uh, the link is down below. A few days left. So make sure you go for it. And um, yeah, that's it. If there are no questions, I will leave it here. Um, see? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm so grateful for you, Maya. Yes, RYS is amazing. It is. <laughs> Okay, my loves, um, I will see you next week. Um, although actually I might take a little break the next couple of weeks just because, uh, you know, I, I need to recharge a little bit. And so we'll see, we'll see. I'll keep you updated whether there will be a live stream or not. And look, now we have a visitor. Look at her. Yes, oh my God, she's so cute. I'm so, like, I wasn't with her for, you know, the last week, so really happy to be back with my baby. I love my kitty cat so much. <laughs> Anyways, you have a wonderful night and or, or day, depending on which time zone you're in. And I will see you soon.